maybe that idea is not going to work this particular time around. But don't throw it away and don't trash the person that gave you the idea. Oh, that stinks. That's terrible. You're short. That's why you can't come up with that. You know? Well, or if I'm tall. That's why I can't come up with that. Idea. Um, the whole idea of positive mental attitude. It's extremely important to the creative process. I don't want to see anybody pull attitude. Because I'll yank you down real hard. We, we, we have to get along. We must work together. A lot of the things we're talking about are really very simple things. Set up the bill to blow up. What the hell are they talking about? You'll see when we, when we show stuff. And we can stop the tape and analyze it. It's really real basic kinds of things. But writing gags together we will do this in duet form, trios, quartets, and eventually, as he said, <laughs> the entire group. Go ahead. You'll know that day we'll come in in armor. <laughs> 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 I, think the, I think we should get right into the tape. Yeah, only uh, one, one, quick, one more quick thing. When you start working on gags, because we, we will be doing this, it's not too late, it's not too soon to start thinking uh, thinking in terms of these things now. Where do you begin? You can begin any place. You can begin with the, you can begin with the uh, setup, the build, the blow off. You can begin just with the location, with uh, a prop. Anything is a place to start. Just about every situation. Um, every location, every kind of idea, a, f a fire in a building, uh, a walk through the snow, a walk in the park, going through your driver's test, uh, anything is a, has enormous comic possibilities. It doesn't make any difference if you start working, oh, I've got an idea for a middle, I can see some business that I can work, I don't have to figure out how to work a gag around it. That's great, start there. And right. jot it down. Yeah. Start keeping a gag notebook. As you get ideas, just start jotting them down. Eventually you'll start going back and pulling those little ideas out make them part of a big routine, but don't trust the gray matter, especially with as much stuff as you've got to absorb here. When you get an idea, just quick jot it down. And you'll be amazed, by the end of the 10 weeks, if you do this, you're going to have a lot of material to draw from. Maybe not right now, but later on down the road. Be observant. Watch everything. Anything you think it, that, that you see is funny, jot it down. Yes, go ahead. Or into the shopping malls here in Florida, I think. Right, right. Come on, come on. All right, I'm doing um, you see some of the geriatrics coming down the escalator and a bunch of people trying to get off behind them and she's like going like this at the bottom of the thing and you got all these people stacked up behind them. They're great ideas. Um, hang on to them, store them, use them. All right. To that end, we thought we'd start today by showing you a vintage piece of Chaplin. It comes from a series called Unknown Chaplin. It's material that was found in vaults that Lady Chaplin allowed these filmmakers in London to put together. Most of it had never been seen before. They had that on TV. It shows how Chaplin worked and how he built the gag. We don't quite have the facilities that Charlie Chaplin had, nor does any film company today could they ever afford to do what he did. What we're going to watch is he works out a gag, how he changes it, alters it, goes way far away from the premise, comes right back to the beginning, and 600 and some takes later, he has a dad. 600 and some takes later. Keep an eye on the slate markers that yeah. you'll see throughout this piece. Uh, how many times he would, he would go over a gag. This is a man who worked primarily without a script. Set up a situation, start working with it. And this is, just look at the way we're going to talk about it. Let's talk about the working process of working on material, coming back to an idea you thought was good, maybe throwing it out all together. I think uh, what you need to do is to start working on gag premises. Like I said earlier, the drugstore, uh, walk in the park. Probably have maybe 10 for the next gag development class. And see if you can't structure a beginning and a middle and an end. Just thoughts, just write these notes out. Mm -hmm. We'll see if we can't start working real gags from these ideas that you start to come up with. Since a week from Saturday is our first gag presentation for not only ourselves, but members of the community. Uh, it's not too soon to start writing this stuff down and getting to work on it. When you, when you start to work on those things, you get a, you get a group of people together to uh, start working on a gag. Um, just like it's never too st soon to start working. Remember what we saw here. Um, he worked on camera. He worked without a script. I'm not saying we all have to copy the way Charlie Chaplin worked. He's a terrific role model. But 
there's one thing that you do that I think is very, very important. Get up on your feet as soon as possible. Don't think and talk the gag to death. If you get, if you're talking about it and you get stymied, let's get up and work with it and see what happens. All the things that he did, all the little ideas, the accidents that happened, that he could turn into a gag, you can too. The bit with the cane, it was a problem for him, but you know what? Maybe we can use that. Um, keep that in mind. And again, with that little uh, with the, the magic three within the magic three, the first shot we saw where he just came through the door. And we saw, I mean, that was obviously that was a setup for something else going on in the gag. But within that little frame, he walked through the door, we saw who he, he took a look around, his little bit of a middle, and he capped it off. He bent the cane. He came so tiny little things like that that can put periods on the things that you want to do. Um, he knew his company. We got a chance to look at the people he worked with. Um, now is the time for, I know you've been doing this at the villas and here. We encourage you all to continue doing that. Get to know each other very, very well. This is your company. Okay? For those of you that go, go on to the circus, that will be your company. For those of you that go to do something else, you'll have other partners to work with. Um, get to know them. Get to know what they can do, what they can't. You can utilize everybody's strengths, everybody's weaknesses can all be utilized within the structure of a gag. Um, and everything has common possibilities. He took eating dinner, two little potatoes, and a couple of forks. He did a little dance with them. Those little things that you can use all the time. Now that's the kind of, those are the kinds of icing on the creative case that you'll put in once you have your overall structure set up. The first thing you want to deal with is the overall structure. You've got an idea, okay, how do I get, how do I, how do I get a beginning for it? Um, a logic to the gag. That was a term that you heard here that, again, is very important. There has to be a reason for these people to do the things that they're doing. Regardless, when we watch the Roadrunner cartoons, regardless of how maniacal they may seem, how things can be completely off the wall, if you look at it, and this will be very important in your own character work, there's a reason for everybody to be doing every single thing that he's doing. They want something. And that's and, you're, and the structure of your gang wants something. Character A wants something, character B wants something, where those two meet, we get conflict, we get creativity, we get action. And action is the name of the business, particularly here. Uh, we, can't, we can't go out into the arena and give our audiences a concept. They won't follow it, okay? We need action. Uh, action is how we display our concept. Concept is a starting point. Action is something worth watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a little awkward. I think, uh, yeah, we'll draw a line out of today. Uh, because we, we can talk this to death. Uh, and we will. And we will. So <laughs> we'll beat that horse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the key thing is, start writing the ideas down and then get up and play with them. You won't know what happens. It's uh, just like a, a giant sandbox. Get in and start playing. Get your hands dirty. Start writing out those gags. To, uh, ten's a good number. Don't, you know, this is not like, you know, we want these ten in by such and such time. We're going to review them. You'll all be graded. I got you. Better resume. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Should, uh, should we be writing with props or without props or just locations? Be careful about props. Uh, props can trap you. Um, like the wheelchair. <laughs> <I don't laughs> <know. laughs> uh, you don't, we can't build Rube Goldbergs here. Oh, what a great idea for a gag! On a machine that, uh, you know, the bucket goes up and falls on the cat, and the cat runs into the flaming from a fire hoop, and that falls onto the alarm bell. Think of things that we could actually build or make. Oh. And, and to keep it, but uh, primarily, this is the best prop you've got. This is the very best prop. This and a simple chair. Now, we've had more chair routines than we necessarily need to see, but it's a great place to start on something. And walk, just walk around the arena and look at the props that are in the back there. Um, you might get ideas from stuff you see back there, so just snoop around. And those can be anything you want. Any one of those boxes can be anything. Yeah, they don't have to be what they are right now. Washing machine it doesn't have to be a washing machine. Let your imagination go. Should you come up with something more specific than just the general comic situation, like specifically some sort of? Block? That's why I say come up with a beginning and a middle and an end if you can. And, and the more that you can start fleshing it in and filling in all the gaps, the better. See, what we'll do, like Steve said, later on, we'll take some of the, this is primarily for you, that's why I said don't look at it like an assignment that has to be typed and turned in uh, nice and neat. These are primarily for you to get you started. We'll take some of those ideas later, maybe we'll take your idea and give it to this group over here and say, no, you people take that and go work for 20 minutes and come up with uh, something to, uh, to show to the rest of us. Um, and it's good, sometimes you have an idea that, you get an idea and you're stymied on it, you can get no place, 
and you give it to somebody else and they, it sparks something in their brain. This is a very interdependent process that we have here. Okay, and it is a process. You should focus on the process and don't knock yourself dead about the result right now. Okay, worry about the process. Don't worry so much about the result. Other questions, thoughts, observations? For any number of people or? Yes, yeah, don't, don't limit yourself right now, okay? Other than, you know, don't write a gag. Cast a thousand. Cast a thousand dollar mistake. Yeah, George can build a lot of things, but Boeing 747s are really Wait, Boris, that's not from the airport. Please feel Okay. Anything else? All right, let's try to close to it there, all right?